Hello and welcome to the LTC Cinema Series premiere here at Taj. And I'm your host, Kelly Phoenix. Tonight, we'll feature some independent short films, webisodes, and even music videos. So follow the Phoenix with LTC. Uh, so the movie is, is basically a love triangle uh, between a few college students. So um, it's, it's sort of uh, old love versus new love and, you know, morality and, you know, uh, you know old and new and, and finding yourself type of thing. And so uh, there's a few laughs, but it's definitely uh, a drama primarily. And I think it's just a fun little uh, passion project. That's, that's fabulous. Is this your first project that you have, or do you have other films or anything like that? I mean, this is the first uh, movie I've done where uh, I've been as involved as I am. So I've never, you know, written, co-directed, right. you know, casted, and, and act and starred in, you know, a film all in one. And how does that feel to like be part of this movie in that extent? Uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty a little stressed out there. <laughs> yeah, well, it was it was it was a lot of hats, and you know, a lot of it was just a means to an end. I consider myself an actor above all else, but uh, it was definitely fun. It was a challenge. It was a learning experience. How was it working on this film? Awesome. When I tell you Arson is the best, like he said, we've been friends for 10 plus years now. This is three or four different things I had did for him. I tell him to call me. I'm your right-hand woman. Call me for anything. Even if it's in Alaska, I'll come. He's awesome. Perfectionist. Great. Love working with him. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. So you're an actress? and Yes, I'm an actress. I um, also work part-time at Home Depot. Been there for 15 years just for the stock and the benefits and everything. <laughs> well, you gotta do what you gotta do, but it's, that's great. So, I mean, are you, are you excited to see yourself on the screen tonight? Yes, I'm ecstatic. I was like, um, I think he actually she just showed a music video yes. that um, we did several years ago, and I was actually part of that. Oh, so yeah, nice. just ecstatic. I have my fiance here with me and a close a close co-worker of mine here okay. to support me. Okay, so what's the name of your web series? It's called Blue Wall, the web series. Blue okay, so tell us a little bit what we're going to see tonight. What is the um, your idea of your web series? What is it about? We're going to show you a couple episodes. It's a cop drama. Okay. It's kind of like if The Shield meets uh, The Usual Suspects, that type of thing. Okay. It's dark, it's edgy, it's really cool, and... Um, we're going to show a couple interrogation scenes what we're showing, and it's going to be really cool. Okay, fabulous. I look forward to seeing it. And also, okay, so is there any other projects you're working on? Oh, is this your first web series? Yeah, this is my first web series. I do have another one I'll be doing probably next year, a comedy about dating. And um, we're just excited to be here tonight. We just really are. This is a really big deal to us. Because this time last year, we weren't even sure that we were going to get this done. So the fact that we're here and it's reading it, it's a really big deal. My name is Robin DiGiulio. Okay, and what role are you playing in the web series? I'm actually not a role player. I'm part of the series oh, on the backside. <laughs> Behind the scenes. You said the backside. I don't. I, I know you said you're making a comedy about dating, but she came out here and said the backside. I'm just trying to understand that. She's behind the scene. I said, well, oh, well, you know what? Support all the way. <laughs> and what's your name? Hi, I'm Chasen. Chase? And yes. Are you part of the web series or are you behind the scenes too? Oh, uh... I'm a part of it, I guess. I'm the front side. Oh, you're on the front side? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what role do you play in the front side? I'm playing Jeremy. I'm playing a jilted ex. A jilted ex? Oh, I have a lot of them. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'll keep my eye on you then. <laughs> okay, and what's your name, sweetheart? My name is Wanda Nobles Colón. Okay, well, Wanda. And what role do you play in the web series? I play Siomari Peña. What? Siomari Peña. Okay, and what does Samari do in, this, in the web series? She's one of the blue, the blue wall um, cops. Badass oh, cop. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a badass cop. No, no, no. I'm not, I am not a cop. I am a badass bad cop. Bad, and remember, badass cop, not just a cop. We're partners. We're yeah, partners. Yeah, we're partners. Yeah, we're partners. Yeah. Oh, and then two badass women yes. as partners. I, I love Jackie it. Morse, okay. and she plays the elf. Yes. Nice. Okay, and we got the... John? John. John Morena, I play Detective Wayne Jenkins. and I You look like a detective. Right? 12 as well. <laughs> I am one of the badass cops of Squad, squad 12 as well. Yeah, you, you, you scare me. Like, if I was in an interrogation room with you, you look like the silent one that would just be there and just like, exactly. you know, and you're like, okay, I killed her. I did it. Damn it. <laughs> Squad is an, it's an undercover squad group. That's what they are. Okay. And they're doing doors. What doing doors is it's like they're robbing drug dealers. Okay. To get power for and stuff like that. But one particular time they were doing doors, but three people got killed, and so they kind of covered it up. Hence the blue wall. Blue wall is silence. That's what it is. My name is Michael. I'm playing the role of Dale Windsor in Blue Wall. And what does Dale do in, in this web series? 
Well, Dale is is an upper crust kid who just got mixed in with the wrong crowd. And he just gets into a lot of big messes. So are you in an interrogation room with him? No, no, no. <laughs> no, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. A very heartfelt scene called um, The Last Goodbye with his dad. And he's done so many things that his father actually writes him off, and that's what it is. It's a really beautiful scene. Okay, we're looking forward to seeing that scene. Kelly Phoenix here at the LTC Cinema Series at Taj, and once again, I have one of our independent short film director, co-producer, and producer here tonight. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves and let us know what film we're seeing tonight. Uh, hi, my name is Jabari Clark Pennigan. I'm the director, cinematographer, and editor for Not Guilty, the short film. I am the producer and writer and the actor for the short film Not Guilty. Jeffrey J. Scott, I am the judge in the film and the executive producer. Nice, nice. So tell us a little bit about this film. So the film is about uh, an older man who's a baker. He lives in the Dominican Republic and he comes to visit his daughter and you know they, they kind of have a relationship that's kind of strained by the distance and it then becomes a tragedy because she's killed in a grocery store robbery and he has to go through the criminal justice system and sort of you know deal with how things work and he doesn't speak any English oh that's even better here <laughs> and you know it's a, it's that's a story that's probably been told over and over again I mean this is real life mm -hmm. I mean you hear this mm -hmm. happening in real life especially someone coming from somewhere else and then getting thrown into our system over here and they have no idea oh yeah exactly that's totally that's, clueless. that's what makes the film so yeah. very profound and, and and the ending has such a profound message message that a lot of people that resonates with a lot of people right exactly I think a lot of people can just like feel the pain of that father especially losing a child I can't even imagine not just a child but two children because um, his daughter's pregnant at the time okay yeah that's that's, uh, that's deep that's deep but um we look forward to seeing it tonight and I mean so is there any like social media or website or anything we want to follow is this like your first project together working together uh, yeah this is our first time working together um, it's on Facebook you can find it on Facebook um, facebook.com slash not guilty uh, it's also on Vimeo on demand now you can buy it you can rent it oh. um, it has screened at six different film festivals um, Golden Door International Film Festival, October Film Festival. It won Best Short Film at Viva Latino Film Festival, um, and so many, many more. All right, so. so we're honored to have your film here tonight. And I know, okay, I know we're talking about the film, but I also want to know what is it else that you do outside of the film? So, I mean, you have your film, your director, and what else? Is there anything else that we have to look forward for you as well? Well, uh, I plan to make a feature film uh, based on the short film. And of course, we have to raise funds. Okay. So we need your support. Not guilty on Vimeo.com. Oh. Rent it and buy it. Support your local filmmaker. And anything else? Is there, you working on anything that we should be watching? Uh, not working on anything right now. I just completed a uh, lead in a fe feature film called Porgies and Bass. And uh, we filmed that out in Long Island. Uh, but this gentleman here, we had met in class. Nice. We, okay. we took class together, and, and he came up to me, and he goes, I want you as the judge in this film. <laughs> so that's how... Mallet down, like, guilty! <laughs> okay, so we look forward to seeing you tonight, and it's an honor to have your film here at the LTC Cinema Series. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Lindsay Johnson. I am the uh, owner of Skylark Media Pictures, and the film that I submitted and is showing tonight is uh, Damn Decisions. Wow. Okay, that's fabulous. So, um, tell us a little bit about the film. What are we looking to see tonight? Uh, the film is a suspense thriller. It's uh, I can't say too much about it because it is a uh, there's a little twist to it, so I don't want to give too much away. But uh, I'm really proud of what the film has been able to do thus far, and uh, hopefully everyone will like it tonight. That's great. That's great. So, is this your first short film? No, I've done music videos that have been submitted into other festivals and stuff, but this is like my first one that I've written and directed where I had a, a major, major, like 90% of the uh, film was me. So. Wow, that's, that's fabulous. That's great. So tell me, like, what does it take to like write and direct a film? Like, I mean, there's a lot of time. How long did it take to get this, you know, out here for us to see tonight? It's a lot, man. It took me about two years to get everything done and um, written, filmed, edited. Two years, so it's been a long road, and I'm glad that, you know, I'm actually going to put it away after this, but I'm glad it can conclude here. Okay, okay 
Thank you, and I'm, I'm glad that you were here. You, you could share with us tonight with LTC. Okay, so if we wanted to follow you or any social media or website, how would we follow your future projects? The main place you can find me is on YouTube at uh, youtube.com uh, backslash SMPCEO1, or you can catch me on uh, Facebook at uh, facebook.com backslash Skylark Media Pictures, or you can type in Skylark. That's S K Y L A R K Media Pictures. Okay, and we look forward to seeing this film tonight. And thank you for being here. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. So follow the Phoenix as we see damn decisions. I'm Juan Gutierrez. I'm one of the angels of death that come at the end for the surprise. The angel of death. Please do not visit me. <laughs> well, if you're a good girl, I won't have to. Okay. Oh, damn it, he's coming to my house. <laughs> So tell us, I mean, so you're an actor, and, 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 and this is your first film, or what else do you do? Um, I've done acting before. I've done uh, extra work on uh, HBO's Oz, um, oh, nice. Bringing Out the Dead. I've done certain movies. Uh, this is my first independent film okay. um, with a very close friend of mine um, that worked very closely with another friend of mine that introduced me to him. Okay. Um, it was a labor of love, um, a lot of talent for a very low budget. So it, it was it was just great working on this film. That's great, and we look forward to seeing the film tonight, like I said, Lindsay, and we're gonna have a good night tonight. And thank you for being here, guys. Thank you. I gotta tell you, out of all the type of events like this, this is one of the first events that is put together in this way. There's never a red carpet in a step repeat when you show films. Step repeat, red carpet. There's and me, yay! Yes, and of course. <laughs> The Red Carpet host. And there's never a camera crew like this that actually sits there and supports and organized. It's going to, you know, it runs, everything runs smooth. And I got to tell you, I think this is the start of something extremely beautiful and powerful. And, uh, you know, the more that these things happen, the better it is. And I'm excited to finally see some of these films. Yeah, so am I. I look forward to it. So we're going to enjoy. We're going to have fun tonight. We're going to see some films. And we're going to follow the Phoenix with LTC.